Yes, uh, hello. My name is Kenneth. Currently, I'm a student at the University of Technology, Malaysia. Uh, so, and my colleague, Alex, we, we've been working on this assignment for the Embedded Control Systems course. Uh, we set out to simulate the speed and direction control for a DC motor using the Woki platform. So uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you the solution we've come up with to illustrate the speed and direction control. So as you can see, uh, this is a version of the electronic circuit we've come up with for, for this. For this. Uh, the components we're using, uh, we have a, a slider switch uh, an ESP32 controller, uh, an LCD 16 by 2 display, two LEDs for the direction. That is uh, for, for the reverse direction, we make use of the red LED. Uh, the green LED is to, use, is to represent the forward direction. We also simulate the L298N motor driver uh, using this XOR gates logic gates and the uh, not gates as illustrated. Uh, we also make use of a slider potentiometer, which we're going to use to, to generate uh, a varying duty cycle. So uh, in our code, uh, we start by importing the liquid crystal library, liquid crystal.h. We set up our reference variables, uh, that is input one and input two and uh, the potentiometer pins uh, together with the left and right positions for the slider switch and uh, then we also define our in the pins for pulse width modulation uh, for this uh, simulation we're going to be making use of two channels uh, that is channel zero and channel one we will make use of, of a frequency of 1000 hertz and um, a resolution of 8 bits. So we we'll start by instantiating uh, uh, an LCD instance based on the connections of the LCD. Uh, we then uh, set the potentiometer value and duty cycle value to zero. Thereafter, we in our setup function, we set up inputs uh, one and two as output uh, as outputs and uh, the left and right positions as input pull up as illustrated in the code we then uh, set up our lcd which is a uh, 16 by 2 lcd that is 16 column two row lcd and then for the pulse width modulation as i mentioned earlier we are making use of two channels uh, with the same frequency and resolution so we attach channel one to input one and channel two to input two. So in our loop function, uh, we start by obtaining the value of the potentiometer using the analog read function. We then convert it into the respective duty cycle and set the cursor to the first row and first column. We then check if the current position of the slider switch is left, we print motor reverse on the first row and uh, we write a duty cycle value equivalent to the duty cycle to channel one and zero to channel two. Likewise, if it is right, uh, we, we print motor forward on the top row and write a value of zero on the first channel and uh, the duty cycle value on channel two. Uh, we then set the cursor to the second row, first column, uh, and we print out the duty cycle and delay our function by 200 milliseconds. We then clear the LCD screen. So I'm going to run through the simulation to validate uh, our solution. So I'm running the simulation currently. So as you can see, uh, let me move this uh, potentiometer value to zero. So initially, if our slider switch is left, so we have motor reverse, 
and uh, the duty cycle here is DC0. So as I increase the slider switch, sorry, the potentiometer, we see the duty cycle is increasing just like the brightness of the reverse LED, the red LED. So if I switch, if I bring our, our value back to zero and I switch the position to right, we see that uh, the motor, the LCD is going to be illustrating motor forward. And that, likewise, if I move the slider potentiometer, we see that the duty cycle is increasing up to maximum, just like the brightness. And if I decrease it, similarly, you can see that it's the, the brightness is reducing and the duty cycle is also coming to zero. So here, as a summary for our, for our uh, solution, we make use of two LEDs, uh, red being for reverse, green being for, for forward, and uh, the brightness is used to illustrate the speed at which the motor is moving. Uh, thank you. So that was a brief description for our solution. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.